All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praise, our honor, our glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and sincere peace and salutation to, to all you hopeful that I get out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do so he can wake up and seal. The elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations. That may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. One of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halaki from the GMS Denver camp. Coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And this time I have a video from our uh, Brighteon, and it's a uh, Health Ranger report. And it's basically going into the uh, the constructed and uh, orchestrated food shortage that's happening all throughout this country and all throughout the world, man. And at the end of the day, the most I said, all these things will be taking place in these last days. You see? All these things are prophesied by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So before we get into this, uh, a little bit of this video, let's grab a couple of scriptures. This is uh Isaiah forty six. And Isaiah forty six and eight it says, Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am the most high and there is none else. I am the most high and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. And this orchestrated food crisis that's happening is all of the Most High's counsel. The Most High ordained it to happen this way. You see, whether a famine is, is, is the Most High touching the earth directly or having Esau push these things forth, guess what? It's all according to the will of the Most High because famine has to be brought to pass according to the Most High's word, according to the Most High's will. And this is what we see happening. That's why you don't see the uh, you see big ass gaps of meat in the grocery store, man. A shortage of meat, a shortage of di uh, different canned items, man. You see, that's all because a famine is about to take hold on this entire planet Earth. All according to the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Let's grab these, grab these two, then we get into the uh, to the video. So Second Edges fifteen and uh, five it says. Behold, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You hear that? These are the things that the Most High is ordained to do upon this planet Earth. And why is He going to do this? For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And these things are happening because you people are wicked as hell, living in complete rebellion against the Heavenly Father, man. That's why the Most High is th bringing these things upon the earth to punish you. And one of the main things that he's going to use is famine. You see? Famine is coming, man. In a great way. So let's play some of this uh, video. With today. And this... Well, how do I explain this? So in years past, at the Health Ranger store... You know, we purchase, I don't know how many, I guess, millions of pounds of food over time. Uh, commercial quantities, you know, they come in on heavy trucks and they come in by the pallet. And we have multiple forklifts in our operation, you know, warehousing, uh, all of this. It's all a controlled, air-conditioned, humidity-controlled environment, by the way. And then we manufacture, of course, our, our products. Well, normally we've been able to have 12-month contracts on our food supplies so we we talk to our suppliers and we do you know a 12 month advance contract and we agree on a price and we agree on you know delivery schedules and then we commit to that and this is how we've been able to bring you uh, food supplies when a lot of other people are, are having more trouble with the uh, supply chain disruptions well we were just told by our largest supplier which works with uh, American farmers all across North America 
is our largest supplier that provides all kinds of products from legumes and beans and things that go in the ranger buckets. They just told us the following. Uh, we're limiting all contracts to 90 days because, and this is an almost exact quote, because we can't guarantee any delivery of any food after 90 days. And we received that, what was it? It was about, let's, just, let's call it July 1st. It was actually a few days ago, and I didn't hear about it until today. Because I'm, I'm not the guy ordering all the products, you know. So this trickled up through my organization to me. And then I had this holy cow moment. Like, what do you mean? 90 days, they can't guarantee anything. And uh, my team told me, yeah, and then it showed me the conversation. So 90 days puts us at what? Uh, August, September, October 1st. So after October 1st, no one can guarantee any delivery of any food at the commercial level in the United States of America. Now, at least from our sources, that's, that's what we are seeing. Now, combine this with the recent news that was in the Wall Street Journal that I covered two days ago that talked about uh, grocery stores, uh, supermarkets. They are stockpiling food now. Right now, across America, they're stockpiling food, and the major grocery chain distributors are stockpiling food supplies. Why? Well, according to the Wall Street Journal story, it's two reasons. It's because they know that inflation is coming, which is really hyperinflation, and they also know that supply shortages are going to get worse. So basically, the Wall Street Journal is downplaying this. It's way worse than what they're reporting, folks. It's hyperinflation that is over 50% inflation per year. That's hyperinflation on food and other things. And it is a collapse of the food supply, mm -hmm. a collapse of the food supply. So we are ordering right now, we are ordering literally millions of dollars worth of food, uh, raw materials so that we may, might have something in stock for Black Friday. And, you know, between now and then, but also on Black Friday. I'm here to tell you today, I don't know that we're going to have anything to sell after Black Friday. We might run out before that. I'm not sure. Or we may see our supplies cut in half, let's say, or cut down to a quarter. I, I just don't know. I don't know what we're going to have, and, and we can't even sign contracts with food suppliers anymore beyond 90 days. So what I can tell you with certainty, and I've got one more piece of intel to share with you here, with certainty is that there is now a 90-day food window beyond which I see mass famine. I, I see mass food shortages throughout the fall. You know, October, November, December, all into next year, I see America having mass, uh, suffering from mass starvation at the same time that the American people are being uh, pursued and uh, injected with spike protein bioweapons, but also executed. So you hear it, man. So you hear it. Mass famine is coming, and that's all prophesied, man. And you can go and, uh, and I'll try to leave this link in the description, description box, but this is what's happened. This is what the most I was ordained to happen. The most I said this would happen. And this is coming upon you people because it's a punishment from the most high, man. You see? So let's read second edges 15 and five one more time. Behold, say of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. You hear that? So that's why the Most High is bringing this famine upon you. Let's get Sirach 39. And it goes and say, Sirach 39 and 28 says what? There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell 
and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. You hear that? Famine was created for vengeance as a punishment for the wickedness of you people, man. And it's about to be poured upon you in perfection. You see, the Most High is doing it little bit by little bit. And, and, and the thing is, it's going to catch you people off guard because you don't even see it coming. You don't even know it's happening. You see, because you can go to these grocery stores still and, and, and get uh, almost everything you need. You know, and you dumb as Americans, oh, it's, 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 it'll get back to normal. It'll get back to normal. You're hoping in that. But guess what? That's not coming, man. Famine is about to grip the entire planet Earth. And as you continue to watch on in that video, he talks about how these cattle farmers have no way to process their meat. So now they're just having to kill cattle off, man. Bringing in a what? A meat shortage. All these things are happening because... The Most High is preparing a great famine to take hold on this planet Earth, man. Why? Because of the wickedness of you people. Verse 30 said what? Teeth, the, uh, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. And that's exactly what's about to happen. The time of famine is about to be... <coughs> It, it is about to be open, uh, full blown, man. <clears throat> you see, it's about to be a full blown famine here on this planet Earth in the coming months, man. You see, you're gonna see start to see more and more shortages. Oh, you had a brother uh, send a video to the group chat how these truckers are getting these loads and they just let them sit at, sit at the warehouse, man. They're not even shipping them out. You see, this is being orchestrated by the elite because they want to starve you people out. So you so you will be more compliant with this new world order that they're pushing forth. And at the end of the day, it's all according to the Most High's will, man. You see? It's all according to the Most High's will. Let's go to Sirach chapter 40. And verse 8, it says what? Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold more upon sinners. And that's what all you people are, man. You see? You people outside of the remnant, man, you're nothing but sinners. And you two-thirds who, who want to walk in the ways of these heathen, man, you have no type of hedge of protection from your power. You're supposed to be believing upon your Hawa Shah, you see, in hopes to receive that salvation, in hopes to be kept from that. But since you don't want to come to the Heavenly Father the right way, you're going to partake in the destruction of the heathen, man. You're going to partake in the, uh, the, the, the uh, punishment of the heathen. It is going to be very grievous, man. Verse 9 says what? Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation and the scourge. These things were these things are created for the wicked. You hear that? That's what he think the the, the 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 plague of famine is created for is to punish the wicked, man. You see? These things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood. That's why the that's why the flood came. It came for the wicked. So all these players that the most I was about to pour upon this planet Earth is for the wicked, man. It's not for the righteous. It's not for those that believe upon him. It's not for those that believe upon his only begotten son. It's for those who are uh, are walking in rebellion against Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah, man. That's what's about to grip this place. Famine. And you people don't even see it because you can still go and get your food as you please, man. But the time for that is is, is gonna be <clears throat> over with soon come you see let's get this real quick victuals man what's that uh yep second edges chapter 16 verse 21 it says what <laughs> behold victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case and that's exactly what's happening right now you can still go grocery shop as you please, you can still go to your fast food restaurants. You can still go down, go and sit at a restaurant and have dinner. You see, and the food is pretty cheap. So you're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking to yourself that you're in good case. Oh, these niggas don't know what they're talking about. Ain't no famine coming, so forth and so on. But all the reports are coming forth to say exactly that, to to tell you exactly what's happening. You see, and the word of the Most High already told you that this was going to happen. You see. 
but you're still in that uh state of oblivion, man, that you can't even see it happening right before your eyes. So uh, Second Edges 16 and 21 says, well, behold, victory sh shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's what's happening, man. The spirit, the most I was pointing, uh, the spirit of war more into the earth. You see? The most I was pouring more, the spirit of confusion more into the earth. And now the spirit of famine is being poured more into the earth, man. And you people can't even see it. <laughs> Completely lost in the sauce, man. In a, in a complete state of oblivion. Verse 22 says what? For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. You hear that? For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. This is what's coming, man. All hell is going to break loose. Man, when you people can't go and just, just go to the store as freely as you want to, as you're doing now, and you don't have access to the food that you have now, man, you people are going to lose your damn minds, man. And that's going to cause complete chaos to break out. All hell is going to break loose, man. You see? And this is what the most I wants to happen on the earth. You see? Verse 23 says what? And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. Man, it's going to be all hell out here in these cities, man. It's going to be like the fucking, uh, <clears throat> like a war zone out here in these cities in, in, in America, man. Especially here in America. Let's get this. Um, this the one? Oh yeah, I know there's four storehouses. Second Edges chapter. <laughs> <clears throat> See, this is written all over the scriptures, man. This is 2nd Edges chapter 6, verse 22 says what? And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. You see? Hey, all your, all your farmland is being flooded out. Oh, you know what? A couple years ago it was being flooded out. Now it's being dried out, man. You see, the, these different governments of these different states are, are, are demanding that these farmers... Uh, drain out their farm, their farm, the, the water they use to uh farm these crops. They're telling them to throw it away, man. What? What is that going to cause? A food shortage. You see. You have in some places the government is paying the the the, the farmers. Uh, more to destroy the food than they will make selling the food, man. That's this prophecy coming to pass. Second Edges six and twenty two, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall be sudden. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. This is what's coming, man. These grocery stores, they, hey, the, the supplies and the resources in these grocery stores, you see, in these big box stores, they're about to start running low. You see, hey, this is what's coming, man. This is what the Most High has prepared. Let's get this right. <laughs> Let's get uh second edges 15 as well to show you what's about to take place. Second edges 15 and we'll start at uh 14. Yup. Second edges uh matter of fact. Con. Let's get second edges 15 and 12. It says, Well, Egypt shall mourn. And the foundation of it shall be smit with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn. Who it is? These are talking about the farmers, man. You see, and you having the farmers complain that there's not enough water to keep the crops going. They're destroying uh, almond uh, crops. They're destroying onion crops. Whatever they have, man, they're destroying it because there's no way to take care of it. They have no water to keep this going. You see? 
And this is happening all throughout the country in all these different farmlands, man. Go do the research on it. How the government is uh, is commanding that these farmers, or matter of fact, the government is even releasing the water that the, the farmers use to, to keep these crops growing. They're releasing that water back into the ocean, man. You see that? That's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah preparing famine for the land of America and all throughout the world, man. So 2 Edges 15 and 13, it says, they, sh they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting in hell and with fearful consolation. You hear that? Ain't nothing good about to come from these crops, man. And it's going to continue to happen more and more and more till there's a complete food shortage, man. So when you go into these same grocery stores that you see stocked to the brim right now, you see, you're going to have people fighting over a can of beans, man. Fighting over the last fucking cucumber. This is what's coming. And with all that, it's going to bring what? Complete hell, man. Complete chaos. And it says what? Verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw of nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. You see, it's going to be war here in the streets of America, man. You see? Class, class wars. Clashes between race. You see? All different types of things are going to be happening. You're going to have people fighting over resources. You see? It's going to be a complete battle royale out here, man. Guns drawn. Guns blazing, man. Verse 16 says what? For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You're going to have uprisings against the government, man. You see, because of these food shortages, because of these dr draconian measures that these governments are pushing forth. You see, the Most High is going to finally put it in the spirit of you people to, to, to rise up, especially here in America. This fucking Second Amendment uh, gun toting the gun loving country, man. The most I was gonna put the spirit upon you to come up against your to come up against your different governments, man. Why? Because that's prophecy. You see? The time of you people listening to your gut, your elected officials, all that shit is gonna be out of the window, man. And you're gonna take the power to your own hand. Is that that's gonna cause more chaos and uh, and death to break to, to, to be brought forth. Verse 17 says what? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because with all this hell breaking loose, with all this chaos going on, martial law is going to be initiated. The cities are going to be locked down. You're not going to be able to travel as freely as you're doing now. You see? All hell is about to break loose here in Babylon the Great. And all that, and all that can be sparked off by way of what? By way of food shortages, man. By way of you people not being able to have uh, access to to your food not being able to eat as you please. Verse 18 says what? For the pride, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid because you people don't know what's going on. You see? This, uh, I had a video earlier with this damn Edomite talking about he don't know what's going on. He thought this was America. You see, the almighty dollar, he went into Walmart. They ain't even using cash no more. Where the hell he been at? They been doing that. So you people are not prepared for what's about to happen. You're not looking for the famine to take hold on this place. So when it happens, man, you're going to be caught in the wares with your pants around your ankles. And it's going to come upon you as a thief in the night, man. You see? Because you people are not expecting or prepared for this to happen. Verse 19 says what? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. It's about to get real raw out here in Babylon the Great, man. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. What is he gonna, but what is he going to do? But shall destroy their houses with the sword. You see? And spoil their goods. You hear that? You're going to have your neighbor coming into your house gun drawn, gun blazing, holding you a gun pull, holding your family hostage. You see? Gun to the back of your head. Show me where your resources are. Show me where your stash is. I know you've been hoarding. We've been talking about it. You see? Where is it? This is what's coming, man. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. What's the lack of bread, man? Famine. 
All this is going to be happening because there's going to be a shortage of food. You see? All this love and compassion that you fucking Americans talking about, all that's going to be thrown out of the window when you can no longer eat as freely as you're doing now. It says what? But they shall destroy, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. This is what's coming to the planet Earth, man. This is what the most I was about to pour upon Babylon, especially, man. It's going to be like the walking dead. It's going to be like the road, the book of Eli, all that into one. A hey, Mad Max. Hey, uh, uh, that show on Netflix, Black Summer. Everybody's scrambling for resources, man. That's what it's going to be like, man. Complete chaos here in Babylon the Great, all because of these food shortages. <laughs> but, and that's and, and we already know that's for the wicked, man. That's for those who are living their life in rebellion against the Heavenly Father. But for those that serve the Most High, we don't have to worry about none of this, man. <laughs> we don't have to worry about none of this. You know what I'm saying? Lord, wouldn't we be a part of that number? Let's get Joel 5. And we'll start at uh, 19. It says what? He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yet in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. And this is talking about those who truly believe upon Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. We're going to be redeemed from famine, man. We're not, the famine is not going to touch us. Now, we might have our moments where we're tested. See, but guess what? Guess what the true believers have been doing? We've been fasting. You see? Preparing for these, preparing for this time that's coming. To be able to go uh two, three days without having food, man, without having water. But the, it tells you right here, man, the most high is gonna save us from that. You see that? While well, all of you people who are here trusting in these false idols, cleaving up to this bullshit that the damn enemy is giving you. It's, it's all going to fall through while the true believers of the Heavenly Father are going to be taken care of, man. Verse 21 says what? Thou shalt not be hid from the, so thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. You hear that? This is the most I'm talking to his servants, man. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. You hear? The most I'm going to have a hedge about his men, man. The Most High is going to have a hedge about his true believers, man. This is why it's beneficial to serve the Lord. Because when it's all said and done, all this shit that you get caught up in in your daily life, guess what? That None of that shit going to matter when it all collapses, man. That whack-ass bank account, that whack-ass car you got, that whack-ass house you live in, you see? When it's all said and done, when it's all gone, the only thing that's going to matter is our, is our relationship with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And it's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And that's all that's going to matter. Because that's what's going to get us through these times that we're uh, uh, facing, man. You had the dude in that video talking about, hey, these need to grow herbs, turmeric, and cilantro. These are herbs that will save your life. No. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is who is going to preserve you, man. Not no damn herbs. You can eat all the damn herbs you want to eat. And the most have a damn bear coming uh, and, and, and maul your ass to death. Verse 23 says what? For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. We're going we gonna to be in a whole different spirit, man. Lord, will we be a part of that number? Let's get this real quick. Isaiah 65. We'll start it. Yup. Isaiah 65 and 12 says what? Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But they evil before mine eyes and did choose that when I delighted not. Talking to two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who refuse to take heed to this warning that we're giving you. Who refuse to take heed to you being an Israelite. Who refuse to acknowledge the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Who refuse to acknowledge the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Since you want to walk in the ways of the heathen. Since you want to walk in the ways of your enemy. The Most High is going to give your ass over to the slaughter. The Most High is going to give you over to these plagues that he's about to pour upon this planet Earth, you see, in his great wrath and fury. Because you chose that when he delighted not. Verse 13 tells you, though, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Behold, my servants shall eat, 
but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You see that? So when we finally go through the tests, the trials and tribulations that the Most High sees fit to put us through, and we pass with flying colors, because we will pass, Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number. You see? Because it's ordained for the elect to, to overcome all these things. When we finally finish our test and the, and the course is finished, you know, we're going to be eating and drinking and being merry. But two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're going to be in great torment, man, in great pain, in great distress because you didn't take heed to the one another most high. Verse 14 says what? Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall, and shall howl for vexation of spirit because we catching hell right now, man. We catching hell because we're departing from this world and we're putting our trust and faith and hope in Yahweh Bible Shem Yahweh Shah. While two thirds of you niggas, you living it up right now. Now the care in the world. But guess what? The tables are going to be turned. The, the script is going to be flipped. The shoe is going to be on the other foot, man. To where when all hell is breaking loose, we're going to be comforted and taken care of by the Heavenly Father, the one true living power, the Ancient of Days, and His only begotten Son. While two thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to be out here in great fucking distress, man. Why? Because you refuse to take heed to the one and the most high. You refuse to take heed to the prophets of the Lord, man. And that's to your own detriment, man. That's to your own destruction. You have been warned. You see? And let's get uh let's get this second Ezra chapter two. And I'll wrap it up on this one, man. I think it's what, 27. Khan, call how about Shemi Awasha. Matter of fact, let's start at uh let's start at uh 26. Second Ezra. Chapter 2, verse 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. For I will require them from among thy number. That's talking about the remnant of Israel. You see? We're going to be taken care of, man. Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number. Verse 27 says what? Be not weary, for when the day of trouble in heaven is cometh, you see, and is fastly approaching, others shall weep and be sorrowful. You hear that? Everybody who didn't take heed to this warning of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're going to be in, in, in uh, you're going to be weep. You're going to be weep. You're going to weep and be sorrowful, man. You're going to be in, in, in great, once again, great distress, man. You see? But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Who is the most I'm talking to? His remnant, man. So while everybody else is catching hell, guess what we're going to do? We're going to be merry and have abundance, man. All these doomsday, these doomsday preppers who are making all these bunkers and all that. Man, you're doing that for the men of the Lord to come across, man. You see? All that's for the men of the Lord, man. Verse 28 says what? The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall not be able to do nothing against thee. Say if you how about Shimmy Howard Shine. Hey, everybody gonna be out here starving. Guess what? We're gonna be we're gonna be eating. We're gonna be shining. We're gonna be glowing, man. The spirit of Yahweh you how about Shimmy Shah is gonna be upon us, man. You see, we're going to be on a whole nother level through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, man. Verse 29 says what? My hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell. So the Most High is going to protect us when all hell breaks loose, man. When this famine grips the planet Earth, guess what? The servants of Yahweh Shah are going to be protected. So yeah, man, famine is being prepared. Famine is being unleashed. And everybody outside of the remnant, man, is going to be taken in it. Thus saith the Bible, thus saith Yahweh Shah. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Baba.